Hey guys, before the video starts, just wanted to let you know that if you use the discount code 2019LUKEC on Truckfest's website, you will get 15% off your tickets. Uh, and I am going to the Peterborough show on the 5th and 6th of May and the Shepton Mallet show on the 31st of August and the 1st of September. So go to www.truckfest.co.uk, book your tickets, use my name, get 15% off. See you there. everybody welcome to my channel my name is Luke thank you very much for watching hopefully you're all uh, all doing okay today is Thursday um, and as you can see it's quite frosty out it's very cold it's my minus six degrees right now minus six degrees is um, I can't remember what they're calling it but it's like it's not beast from the east it's something else um, we could be getting some snowstorms very soon in fact I know there has been snowstorms all across Britain uh, for most of this week. Um, my good friend Martin, if you don't know him, Chucker Jenko, he's been up to um, up Scotland a couple of times this week and it's been snowing quite heavily up there. My good mate Jay, you know him as Chucker Jay in the UK, he's been stuck on the A55 in North Wales. He's been uh, wheel spinning uh, and the truck beside him and they're blocking the roads. So no, no one can get past him. Here's a clip. Well, I am absolutely stuck. Along with this guy here, and we're blocking the motorway. Um, it, I've had a bit of snow at um, Newbury, not yesterday, day before yesterday, but just very, very briefly, and then it stopped again. So um, there's there's snow on its way, and uh, the forecast is tonight and tomorrow in the south is going to be pretty bad. And uh, guess where I am? I'm in the south. <laughs> so. Um, I'm still doing container work at the moment, however at the moment it's a bit of a twist. This morning I got my container taken off, went to a yard who we're doing the work for, swapped trailers and now I've got a curtain cider trailer on. We are going to Bridgewater, we're heading, uh, heading to Bridgewater now, uh, it's 8 o'clock, going to be there in about an hour and a half, booked in for 10, going to arrive at half 9 so that's all good. Got 9 pallets, <laughs> an Arctic with 9 pallets. <laughs> so. You know, I don't know how they're making much money out of that, but that's what we're doing. Uh, no idea what we're doing later. All I know is I've got to obviously go back down to uh, the yard, which is in White Paris. It's uh, about 15 minutes away from Southampton Docks. It's not far away at all. Um, so, uh, might be back on containers later. Might not be. Who knows? We'll soon see. Chances are we will be on a night out tonight, and when we wake up tomorrow morning, there could be snow everywhere. Uh, and this particular vlog is going to be a couple of days long. So, um, sit back and relax. It should hopefully be a fun one. Um, and hopefully we don't get uh, held up in too much traffic. Before I go, I will just say that this week's been a pretty good week so far. Um, I haven't seen Martin, I haven't seen Jade, but I have seen Scott and I have seen Kevin on the roads. Uh, the other day I saw Kevin, uh, I saw him as I was going um, back to Southampton from, where was it? From, uh, I can't remember where it was now, but I was heading to Southampton, he was heading the other way. Um, near sort of Dorchester way and then I parked up overnight and uh, saw him again and you've probably seen the video if you're on our social media pages I, uh, I caught him doing a drive-by here it is <laughs> hopefully you've just seen that drive-by and I haven't forgotten to edit it in <laughs> 
but uh, yeah, so I saw Kevin a few times, and then the, the night it was snowing uh, at Newbury, I also saw Scott. Uh, Scott was uh, a passenger in a truck, and uh, he, he got a little bit of footage of me as I was driving past. Very, very poor cameramanship, but uh, take a look at this clip. Yeah, that's it, man. Yeah. <laughs> and again, hopefully you've just seen that as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's been a good week. Uh, and the good news is both Scott and Kevin um, and Martin, I will be seeing them in about three weeks' time. We've got something quite special lined up. I can't reveal too much yet, but all I will say is keep an eye out on all our social media pages because we're going on a, uh, a little road trip. We're, they're all coming to my place and we're all going up somewhere. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Jay won't be attending because he's uh, on holiday, which is a shame, but there will be the four of us going. So me, Kevin, Scott, and uh, Martin Chakajenko, the four of us, we are doing something in a few weeks time. Keep an eye out, because I'm sure you're gonna hear about it and see it at some point. Anyway, that's enough for me for now. Uh, I need to get to Bridgewater. I'll see you when we're there. Just coming off the M5 now, so we're just just approaching Bridgewater. Still quite icy out and uh, frosty. Got a little bit of traffic up ahead, according to the old sat nav. Oh, this is also annoying me. It's that time of year when loads of roads are closed overnight, uh, and they sort of close between nine and six, or seven and six. It's normally between those sort of times, um, which is really annoying for lorry drivers because. Sometimes we like to be on the road for like four or five in the morning, especially me. And a lot of these major, major roads are actually closed, which is not good. Uh, and talking of a closed road, my, <laughs> the um, Google Maps is telling me that the road that I've got to take up here is closed. So I, I'm hoping I can, I can take it. I don't know how to describe it. Imagine crossroads. Um, and then the, the top and the bottom uh, road is something lane. Uh, that's closed and on the map it's saying the whole thing is closed, but I'm hoping we can still get in between the two lanes. That's what I'm hoping. Should be up to. My sat nav hasn't picked it up and normally my sat nav is pretty good at that. It's just on Google Maps. So we will see, but there is also apparently 10 minutes worth of traffic. I'm only a mile away from where I need to be. Yeah, there's loads of traffic down here, look. I'm only a mile away from where I need to be and uh, there is lots and lots and lots of traffic. I uh, should be able to clear this box. Yeah, I'm clear now. I wonder how many cars are going to try pushing in. I reckon quite a few. We will see. Anyway, um, let's get past all this traffic. I'll see you in a bit. We can go right now. Hopefully you give me a wide berth, as you're supposed to. Thank you very much. Right, so yeah, here we go. Look, work starts here, 18 months, Jesus. But from the 4th of the 4th of oh, 2018. So, should be some crossroads down here. And hopefully I can go straight across. Hopefully, I'll find out in a sec. Yeah, it's looking good. Looks like I can get through. That's cool. It was this road here, left and right. On the map, it says it's shut. So it was slightly worrying. Yeah, they're just doing some houses by the looks of it. And this is where we are delivering. Never been here before, so no idea what to expect.
no idea at all. Probably gonna have to do a 180. There's an office there, so I'm just going to do a 180 and see what they say. Right, see you in a bit. So here we go. Because uh, one, two, three, four pallets, same on the other side, that's eight. And then uh, one on the ass. But he's just taken off. Which I'm not entirely sure if he's uh, keeping that or not. Yeah, you alright, buddy? Did you want that pallet or not? The empty one? Uh, up to you, mate. Right. Check over there. I don't know if they want to keep it or not. <laughs> we don't really care, man. We get loads of shit here. Do you? What's in these barrels then? Silicone. Silicon. Silicone, yeah. This all gets put down into smaller, smaller tubs for people. Expensive though. Yeah, I bet. One thing you get used to when you start doing deliveries and stuff to companies like this, you just gotta get on with the forklifter and like at least act like you're interested because if you're not they can just make your life hell really so I always try and do my best to get on with the forklifter and uh, yeah if you, if you don't get on with the forklifter then um, you could be waiting a while so I always get on with them tell them any stories I might have so on and so forth Not sure why they send an Arctic to do nine pallets. Heavy stuff. Eight tonne of certain paperwork. There's a ton, one pallet's a ton. Yeah. So Should be about nine tonne then. Some stuff's it? quite a heavy. I can see the forklift going up a little bit as you're. That LV, that's fing heavy. That's heavy stuff. Is this the condensity of it? Yeah, that's what it is. Thick, isn't it? Yeah, very thick. There we go. Very, very, very thick silicon. <laughs> so we're nearly offloaded now, we've got one pallet left on that side, uh, two more left on this side look, as you can see. Once these pallets are off we can then get crack a lacking as I like to say. Crack a lacking. We've got nowhere to bloody put them. No, it's the same everywhere that is. Well because our Manchester depot's closed down now right, we've got all the coming down from there. Mind that strap. We're just not big enough. You alright? Yeah, I do. Not gonna lie, that scared me when that sprung off. I was like, First job of the day done. Let's get back in the truck. Head back to White Parish and uh, see what we're doing next. Like I said, could be a container. I don't screen that. Could be a container. Could be more cut and sided work. I just don't know.
All right, let's get out of here. Ah, there's a truck coming in. Just about to leave when there's a truck coming in. He's gonna have to go over there. Hopefully he understood what I was saying, as in over there. Go on mate, I've just done that reverse, it's no problem. <laughs> Right, so. We're off. We are loaded. Oh, well, not loaded at all. We got my, my Skelly trailer on. So we're back off the curtain cider. Back on the containers. Got my Skelly trailer on. We've got to do a uh, run to Birmingham. Which means I'm going home tonight because it's not due until 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going home tonight. Uh, girlfriend doesn't know that yet, so that'd be a nice surprise. Going home tonight, uh, probably start half seven in the morning, maybe eight o'clock. I'll have to see how long it takes to get up there. Probably, probably be half seven, seven at the earliest, uh, which is still a late start for me. Uh, head up to Birmingham, get this offloaded. Like I said, it's not booked until 10, so actually it could be a bit of a pain in the ass because uh, it might be a late finish Friday if I have to come back down and load up for Monday as well. We'll have to see what the weather's like on that front. Because like I said, it's supposed to be really bad weather uh, this afternoon, actually. So it might be snowing later on the way up after we leave the docks. Depends how quickly we leave the docks. We do need to get to the docks quickly because uh, they've given us a one till two uh, VBS, and we're not going to get until we're not going to get to the back end of the docks until half past one. So we'll have half an hour to get from the back of the docks to where we've got to sign in, essentially. Hopefully there's no traffic, so I do need to get a move on. That is for sure. That's a big bird. It look, look like an eagle of some sort there. Eh? Of course, you've got to go steady down these roads because these are quite thin roads. Catch any cars going around there and uh, you might hit them if they're not careful. Now, can we get on to the A36 without stopping? Ready? Yes, we can. Nice. Sometimes you're stopping there for absolutely ages. This road can be quite busy, but we've got straight on. That's cool. There is a truck behind me coming up, coming up a bit of speed actually, but yeah, we're good. We're good. We didn't put out of one of them. He hasn't had to slow down. I've got my speed up now. Right. So let's crack on to Southampton. Let's get this container on and uh, then we can make our way back home. This vlog is still going to be a two day vlog. So I still will be vlogging tomorrow as well. Uh, I'll just be slightly more refreshed because I would have slept in my own bed for the night. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right, so we are finally loaded. So the VBS was between one and two. Uh, we got here at half past one. It's now 20 to three. <laughs> so we've been here longer than expected, longer than I actually wanted to be here. That's for damn sure. Right, registration in loop, that'll be good. No. So, uh, yeah, so that is it for today. We are gonna head home, head to our yard in Crick Lane, and then we are uh, gonna resume for, uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, it takes just over two hours to get there from my yard, it takes three hours to get here, there from here. Uh, but obviously we're going to be leaving from my from my yard tomorrow, so it's going to take just over two hours. Booked in for ten o'clock, which means I need to leave absolute latest, like quarter to eight. But I'm probably going to get in the yard for seven, or at least leave my house at seven because it only takes five minutes to get to the yard, and then um, try and leave for half past seven, something like that. That's the plan. Leave the yard by half seven and then uh, make our way up to uh, to Birmingham. I think we're actually not going to Birmingham, exactly. It's uh, sort of up that way. Yeah, we're going to Tamworth, which is uh, just near Birmingham. <coughs> and then tomorrow, uh, from Tamworth, we need to come back down to Southampton, so I've already worked it out. 
it's just over two hour drive up there then it's going to be about a three hour drive back so let's just say um five and a half hours just to be safe um that will then leave me with six seven eight nine four and a half hours drive time left and i'll only need two to get back up to swindon so basically once i did make once i finish my delivery tomorrow i should have more than enough time to get back down to southampton reload for monday morning and head on back up to swindon again but it depends on two things it depends on weather and it depends on work and time as well but because i got a late start tomorrow um half seven as we just said uh i could in theory work until half past nine so but i don't really want to do that on a friday do you know what i mean <laughs> Re would really rather not work until half past nine on a friday that's for sure but yeah never mind anyway let's um crack on i'm gonna head back to the yard i expect the next time i see you probably be tomorrow when we're uh, leaving the yard or on our way up to to tamworth so i'll see you in a second but it will be the next day for for me if that makes sense so i'll see you tomorrow Good morning everybody, it is the next day and we are leaving our yard, about to leave our yard anyway, it's going to be fun, we've got 20 tonnes of weight on the back of us and uh, we are driving in some snow this morning, now I do have a microphone ready to be plugged in but it's just charging up a little bit so bear with. So, um, <laughs> it's been a, an entertaining start this morning already. Uh, <laughs> just had a, a, a missed call from my boss with a voicemail. And a little part of me was like, he was going to say, oh, don't worry about coming in today. It's too snowy. Don't worry about it. No, he, he phoned up asking where I am because uh, I'm running late. Which, by the way, I'm not running late. But he thought I was running late because he was told that um, the place I'm delivering to, that I needed to be there for nine o'clock. <coughs> Uh, turns out um, he's been given the wrong information, or I've been given the wrong information, because my paperwork says be there for 10 o'clock, so that's why I'm leaving now at half past seven. Never mind. Never mind. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go, because I'm going to charge my mic up a little bit so you can hear me properly, but um, enjoy some time now. So, I have now have a microphone on, so you should be able to hear me a lot clearly. A lot more clearer, that's better. Yeah, a lot more clearer. Um, so, we are on our way to Tamworth, which is uh, just sort of other side of Birmingham, as I said yesterday. Um, and uh, according to my paperwork, it's supposed to be there for 10 o'clock. However, I received word that um, there may or may not have been a bit of a cock up somewhere, um, and I was supposed to be there for 9 o'clock. But my paperwork said 10 o'clock, so that's the time I was aiming for. Um, I don't know why that truck's breaking. He had plenty of time to overtake this car before I started overtaking him. Um, so yeah, we're uh, on our way there now. We're going to be there for, currently, ETA is half past nine. So we are in the middle of the two time slots. So that's not bad. Not really. This morning, got out, got to my car. <laughs> um, I'm not even joking. There's like a proper thick layer of uh, snow all over my car. All over. So obviously you got to clean all that up. So it took longer than usual. Uh, getting my car ready before I even left to go to work and then obviously all the roads are all iced up anyway I live in a little village somewhere and then the roads are not gritted they're just not gritted so it's like an ice rink all over all over the place now I kind of like the snow because a lot of traffic just decides to do 55 miles an hour or, or slower like I'm overtaking all these all these vehicles I'm not driving erratically I'm driving perfectly safe this road is safe to drive on at this speed definitely um, 
but yeah, they obviously want to go a little bit slower. That's fine, as long as they don't hold me up, because I need to get to my destination on time. <laughs> I think it's going to be a late one today. Um, didn't start until, um, I think it was like quarter past seven, the time my card was in. So, in theory, I could work until quarter past ten tonight. So it's going to be a long one. I've got to obviously get this offloaded. And it's a three hour drive down to Southampton, reload. Don't know how long that's going to take. Plus the docks could be a nightmare. And then it's a two hour drive back up as well. So it's safe to, it's safe to assume whenever I leave this destination, um, it's going to be about seven hours before I even get home. That's probably a very safe um, way to work it out. So I'm hoping I leave before 12 o'clock, basically. Anything after a seven o'clock finish, I won't, be, I won't be very happy. Not particularly happy anyway. But never mind, let's crack on. The only thing I'm worried about is Birdlip Hill. That is the only thing I'm worried about at the moment because uh, there's quite, quite a decreased sort of going downhill. In, I can't think of the word. It's too early for me. <laughs> I'm going to carry on. I'll see you guys Tell in a me Why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be With that time, baby, won't you all night long, won't you all night long Tell me, why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be With that time, baby, won't you all night long Right, so we are now at the top of Birdlip Hill. This is the part I was worrying about the most. So far the roads look okay, so I can't see it being a bit uh, like too much of a problem. But you still gotta be careful going down this hill. <laughs> so um, we're gonna experience it together. Hopefully it all, uh, all goes okay. I don't mind driving in weather conditions like this. I quite like it. It's not challenging, not really. I don't feel like it's challenging anyway. Until you actually get stuck going up a hill on like rough snow, that's when it's challenging. But roads like this, these roads are perfectly fine to drive on. This, this weather is not bad. And as for temperature, it's minus one degree. Like yesterday, it was up to minus six. So it's a lot warmer today than what it was yesterday as well, which is all good. I am just gonna disable my engine brake a second. I don't want my engine brake kicking on at random times going down the hill. There's a snowplow. That's not a good thing to see, is it? <laughs> you don't want to be seeing a snowplow when you're about to go down a steep hill. Right. That truck is not indicating. You could argue he's going straight over, but I would still indicate personally. It's not really a straight turn. Right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, these roads have been uh, proper salted, you can tell. This would be a nightmare for trucks, so that's 10% 10, 10 10 uh, decline going down. Trucks would not get up this hill if it was all snowy, so they have to, you know, take preparations and put salt over it. They have to, otherwise it just be a nightmare. Now, the question is, how slow are people going to come down I want to keep a safe distance behind just in case I do need to stop. I wonder if he can actually get out of where he is. That walls. Yeah, I expect he can. Yeah, I quite like the weather. Quite like the snow. Everyone's worrying. My girlfriend is worrying. My mum's worrying. My boss was worrying. Where are you? Are you okay? Keep me updated. I'm just, I'm, going, I'm okay. I'm all right. I can get on with it. I think my boss, because my boss was told that um, I needed to be there for nine o'clock, he was expecting me to be in the yard, um, like before seven o'clock, and he, he, he was phoning me um, just after seven o'clock, but I didn't answer it, um, because I didn't know my phone was ringing. I normally have my phone on do not disturb, um, and I turn it off when I'm at work. I don't I keep it off until I'm at work, um, for that exact reason. I don't want people phoning me while I'm at home, um, after a certain time, because I'm in bed. So I, I um, 
I got to work and I noticed I had a missed call, I a voice message. So I listened to the voice message and he said um, that it, he just, he had a phone call from the guys who were delivering for saying, how am I getting on? He's, he's supposed to be there for nine o'clock. Um, yeah, obviously I hadn't even got into work yet. So I think he was a little bit worried that I, I had an accident or something on the way to work um, because I wasn't answering my phone either. But no, it's just because I got A, no signal in where I live. Uh, and B, it was on do not disturb anyway. I don't answer the phone until I get into work. As a rule, as a rule, only my girlfriend uh, phoned me when my phone was on do not disturb. That's it. We're going to get on over into lane one. Lovely jubbly. There's no one in front of us. Love it. Right, let's crack on. We've got an hour and a half to do. Um, and I've, I've received word by um, Chucker Junko, Martin, that um, up ahead is clear because that's where he is now. So, uh, yeah, let's crack on. See you in a bit. Okay, we are now in Tamworth. Gotta go right around this roundabout, taking up a couple of lanes. Um, zero snow. Zero snow in Tamworth, as you may or may not be able to tell. Um, obviously, it was snowing quite badly where we were in Swindon and that sort of area, but uh, not here. Now, does this lane go all the way around? Yes, it does. Don't know if it's just me, but these roundabouts don't seem very well laid out. Never mind. Right, we need to take a right turn up here. All clear. Right, there's nothing behind us, that's good, because I don't know where I'm turning. Is it this one? Got some canals here. I think it's this turning here. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a theme park just around here. So, there's security. Looks like I do need to see them. Ugh. Is he coming to me or do I need to go to him? Hello, mate. Good morning. Hello. Uh, on logistics. Okay. Turn right? Yeah. First building on the left. On the left. Cheers, mate. That was easy enough. Right then, now we need to try and find someone from Goods Inn and find out where they want me. I start building there. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to reverse up to that ramp. Yeah, I'm going to take the initiative and say I'm reversing onto that ramp. Right, that'll do. I need to go find someone and uh, go from there. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, situation report. We have now been here for two hours and they're about halfway through. <laughs> so, we're gonna be here for a lot longer. And I just looked at the time. 
If I left now, I wouldn't be down to the docks until half past two. Like I said, I'm going to be here for at least at least another hour. Uh, so we're going to be looking at four half past four before we even get down to Southampton docks today. That's great, absolutely great. Hi, oh, mate. It's Luke. Hello, mate. You okay? Yeah. Uh, just finished getting tipped. Uh, leaving now to go down down to Southampton. Be there about half past three. Ish. Half past three. Okay. Look at your 15, 16, mate. Yeah, alright, bud. Yeah, send it through when you're ready. Thanks, Luke. See you later, buddy. Bye, mate. Bye, bye, mate. Right, so, as you heard, we're just leaving. Uh, <laughs> we have been here far too long. Far too long. Half past nine we got here. It's now nearly half past twelve. Three hours. Not good! Anyway, we've got to head back down to Southampton now, get this container off, get another one put back on ready for Monday. Like I said, ETA is about half past three. It is, it's 20 past three, so hopefully um, by the time we get around the back of the docks and stuff, it'll be half past three. Get a container put on. And uh, crack on back home. I will need to get a break in at some point. Um, to driving time's reset, so I can only do four and a half hours driving. This could be a nightmare to get out of. There's a roundabout up there on the left. I might need to go left, turn around at roundabout and come back down. We'll see. It's clear left after this car, clear right now. Yeah, we can go. Yeah, so um, we may need to get a break in. Well, we, <laughs> I'm going to need to get a break in. Uh, but hopefully we can get it in at the docks while waiting to get loaded if if it takes ages for the container. If the container gets put on within half an hour of waiting, then uh, we'll have to have half an hour break up on the road, which just means we'll get back even later. Not ideal, either way. It's gonna be a late one tonight, but if I had to estimate, I would say about seven o'clock. That's my current estimate. About seven o'clock we'll be finished on a Friday. So it's a 12 hour shift, it's not the end of the world, but on a Friday I'd like to finish earlier. Never mind. Anyway, let's get crack a lack in. The weather condition, um, past wind and, in, and all that is all, it was all snowy, so we might see some more snow on the way down. So, uh, see you in a bit. So yes, as you can see, the snow is back. Uh, we're currently on the A34. It's been getting worse and worse. Speed has dropped from 55 to about 45. Um, yeah, it's it's not great. Um, and I'm gonna be down south for quite a while. There is a chance, a small chance, that I might not even be able to make it back home tonight. Look how slow that traffic's going. We've got to come back down this way. So um, not looking good for uh, for finishing early and also not looking good if I can actually get home. This, the slip roads, man, the slip roads on all these junctions are bad. Cars are wheel spinning on the slip roads. Not good. Visibility is quite poor, you can't really see too far ahead. And the SD card has just run out of uh, memory on the uh, dash cam, so I'm gonna have to delete some stuff. See you in a bit. Okay, situation report. So we left Tamworth at half past 12, if I remember rightly. Uh, an ETA back down to Southampton was half past three. We did get here for half past three, we filled up as well. Uh, 
It's now 20 past four. We're just waiting for our container to be put on. We've had the one taken off. Now we're at MT waiting for the one to be put back on. As you saw by some time-lapse footage, um, it got very snowy uh, coming down here. There were accidents. There was a car that crashed on the other side of the road. Um, so they closed the A34. A34 was down to one lane at one stage. Uh, very slow moving traffic. Police cars were overtaking me galore. Yeah, it's just been it's just been a <laughs> a bit of a nightmare to be to be honest with you. My GoPro on the dash cam has run out of SD card footage, so I've had to delete a 15 minute clip from yesterday. Um, so yesterday's uh, well earlier on in this video there should have been a, a little bit of a time lapse, but um, that's now missing. Uh, so I've only got 15 minutes of footage that I can get on that GoPro over there. So. That's why you're only seeing me at the moment. And when we leave and we go on our journey, and I'll, I'll probably get a bit more, a bit more time lapse footage when it goes darker, because we are, I think, going to be in a bit of snow on the way up. But we'll see. We'll see. We need to get loaded. I know where I'm going Monday. We're going to Bristol, so it's only up the road from Swindon. But Swindon is a nightmare at the moment. It's one of the worst hit areas. Uh, like I said earlier, schools have been closed and all sorts. There's just been an accident on the M4 junction 17 to 18, a Royal Mail lorry has gone over and hit the central reservation. So um, 17 to 18 is gonna be busy. And of course I need to get off at 15. So if it tails back too much, that could affect me. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'll have to play it by ear. Might need to get a break in later as well on the way up. So can't really do much at the moment other than wait. Also I wanna give a quick shout out to Adam. Phone is doing my head in. Uh, quick shout out to Adam Grant. He's been a very, very, very long time viewer. Uh, he's been watching me since I was doing tipper days, like class two, when I first started this channel. And I've always remembered Adam Grant because he's the first bloke I ever met, first person ever that come up to me and recognised me. So I'll always remember Adam. Uh, and he texted me, he texted me this morning saying um, that his wife watches the video. So hello to Adam's wife as well. Uh, and he said um, that he also sort of plans in his head when he's going to be finished for the day. And like I knew this morning that I was going to finish about seven, eight o'clock. If I leave right now, I'll be back in the yard by six. Like I said, I still need to get half an hour break in. I don't know what the traffic is. It's been looking like seven o'clock being in the yard. So I was kind of right. And Adam was saying that he does the same thing and he wonders whether other lorry drivers do it as well. So if you are a lorry driver and you are watching this, comment in the section, comment section down below. Do you also plan your day out like that? You sort of, you say, oh, well, I need a 15 minute break here. Then I'm going to have to have three hour drive. Then I'm going to need a half an hour break. And you sort of work it all out in your head. The beginning of the day, if you know roughly how long you're going to be. So yeah, firstly, shout out to Adam and Adam's wife. And um, yeah, and also do you do that as well? Just let me know. Let me know. Anyway. Oh, and then I actually saw Adam when I was filling out of fuel. So that was a coincidence. <laughs> um, at certain Scotney services southbound on the A34. He said he's going to be in the docks later on today as well. So might see him in the docks, but I doubt it. Hopefully we'll be long gone. Right. Come on, container. Where are you? Right, so we're just literally leaving the docks now. Again, sorry, there's no dash cam at the moment. I just want to keep it safe for later if I need to get any, uh, any more footage. But yeah, we're just leaving the docks now. It is half past four currently. It takes an hour and 40 minutes to get back to the yard. So we're going to be back in the yard for about half past six. However... We still need to have that half an hour break. I've only got an hour and eight minutes left of driving time. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna have enough driving time to get back to the yard without having a break first. So we'll need to get, get half an hour break in. Uh, and then that means we'll be back in the yard for about quarter to seven, which means I was right earlier about guessing seven o'clock. Ah, let's go. Right, so we now need to stop for a break. We are literally on four hours and 28 minutes, cutting this fine. But I worked it all out and I knew I had enough time to get here. So that's good. We've just got to stop now for a half an hour break before we stop any further. We are stopping at Memory Services, which is just like eight miles away from Junction 15. 
which means after we've finished our break, we'll, um, won't be long until we're actually back in the yard. I think I'm just going to stop here. So it's a nice straight run back onto the motorway. I think that's what I'm going to do. Right, and we're on 4.30 now, so we'll stop here. Engine off, and 30 minute break. Break time! Yeah, it's 20 to six now in the evening. Oh. So by the time we leave here, it'll be 10 past, 10 past six. Um, Yeah, and then it's just over half an hour away. 35 minutes, 40 minutes, depending on traffic and weather, to get back to the yard. So, we should be back about quarter to seven. Back in the yard. And then obviously I've got to find somewhere to park, can't so it's going to be round. The time I leave the yard, after doing my paperwork and stuff, it'll probably be seven o'clock. Yes. Right, break is nearly finished. We're on 29 minutes at the moment, so just gonna wait for that to tick over to 30. And then we can get crack a -lack in. I think that's the first time I've said that in this vlog. Let's get crack a -lack in. Let's get crack a -lack in. <coughs> um, yeah, so we're 35 minutes away. We're on a 30 minutes break now. Let's just make sure it's definitely gone on to there. It has. Let's get going. Light off. Oh, did a bit of wheel spinach there. We got out. Don't know what that car's doing. It's like, just parked there. <laughs> I'll try to find my glasses, but I can't find them. So I don't need to wear them. We're heading out. We just can't go in there, that's all, because there's a, a limit on the height. This is a two-way road, so I think it's mainly supposed to be for cars. Never mind. Let's get going! This road is a bit slippery. And we're on the motorway. Right, let's crack on home. Okay, right, we are now in Cricklade. We normally go straight on down here, but we can't because they've closed the road. Um, and it says no HGVs. So we have to go the ever so slightly long way round. However, this diversion we're about to take, um, there was actually a car, I shouldn't laugh, but there was a car collision. Uh, they had a head-on head -on crash. Um, I don't know what happened with regards to if anyone died or anything, but um, obviously the police had to close the road. So you couldn't go via the diversion, you couldn't go that way either. So you couldn't get out quickly unless you went. Um, did I vlog? Was this yesterday? I can't remember, I was losing track of time. But I had to go over a small bridge. Um, I don't think it was yesterday, maybe it was. I ju this week is just, uh, well, it's particularly today, just so much has happened today, my mind's just gone all over the place. Oh well, never mind. Anyway, we are just around the corner from the yard, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Um, stay safe out there, hopefully the weather picks up soon. Uh, remember, myself, Kev T, Scott Andrews and Trucker uh, Jenko. Keep an eye out on our pages because we're all doing something in a, in a few weeks' time. And it should be quite fun. So, yeah, keep an eye out. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe. I will see you soon. Bye bye.